Hi, my name's Max and I'm a developer with IBM MQ. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install MQ inside a Docker container. So that's a really good fit for MQ because it's super fast, it's really easy to manage your messaging layer, you can deploy it in the cloud, but most importantly for us, it comes with a default developer configuration and that means we can get started with messaging straight away. So before we start, you're going to need to get hold of Docker. So if you don't have Docker, there's a link in the description for you to download it. Cool, we've got Docker, let's get started. All right, so first of all, we're going to use this command to pull the IBM MQ image from Docker Hub. So if I run this command, it will tell me my image is up to date because I've already got it. But um, for you, this will actually download that image. Once we've done that, we can type in Docker images and that will tell us a list of images we've got on our machine. And you can see here, I've got the right MQ image, so I'm good to continue. All right, so the next thing to do is to create a Docker volume. And that's really important because it means we'll be able to store MQ data even when our container isn't running. So to do that, I'm going to type in Docker volume create, and I'm going to create a volume called QM1 data. And I'm going to call it that just because I'm going to have a MQ server or an MQ queue manager called QM1. So this will make sense for me. Okay, so we can see I've created that volume now. Okay, so now we're ready to run the container from the image. So I'm going to copy and paste this command because it's quite long, but I'll explain what each part is going to do. So um, the Docker run means we're creating a container from this MQ image. And inside of that container, we're accepting the MQ license. We are creating a queue manager or an MQ server called QM1. We are associating that volume QM1 data with a drive on that machine inside the container. We're exposing two ports, so port 1414, which is the port where our applications will connect to MQ and send messages, and port 9443, which is how we'll actually use the MQ console. We're detaching because we're running in the background, and uh, we're setting a password for connecting applications, which means that when apps want to talk to MQ, they use that password to authenticate. Okay, so running this command will give me a container, so we can see there a container has been created. Now, if I type in Docker PS, I can see my running containers, and I can see that I've got a container with a container ID starting 00C, and I can see that it's actually up and running now. So technically, we're done. We finished. We finished this job, but let's actually show what we've got. So if we go inside of the container, which we do with this Docker exec command minus it, meaning we're going in interactively. If I type in the first few characters of my container ID, um, Docker will work out I'm talking about that container. And if I type in bash, it means I'll enter the container in a bash shell. So when I run that, I can see now my prompt has changed and I'm actually running something in bash. So I'm actually inside the container. So what I'm going to do is type in something to test that MQ is working. So if I type in DSP MQ VER, that's display my MQ version. And if I hit that, you can see there that I've got IBM MQ installed in this container. We've got version 921. And you can see that we're running on Linux inside the container and we have a developer license for MQ. So that's really awesome. And there's just really one more thing to, to quickly show and that's that our actual MQ server or our MQQ manager is running. So to do that, all I have to do is type DSPMQ. And when I do that, you can see there I've got a running queue manager called QM1. All right, so that's how you install MQ inside of a container. If that was helpful, let us know, leave us a like, let us know in the comments if you want to see anything else. And if you want to know more about MQ, you can always check out our MQ badge. Other than that, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Cheers.